All right, we're looking at the Audi Swiss here today, and I'm seeing a low push up, higher low, pretty good signal candle. This this kind of also looks like a trend down from this top here, push down, first entry push down, second entry long. If we look at the strength currency meter, the Audi is very strong right now. Swiss is very weak. So this is setting up how we want. Is it going to pan out is the question. And so we'll see. All right, so we getting the move we want, barely. Uh, 30 seconds to hold on here. This is one of those signs where you just want to say price don't, just don't do nothing. You ain't got to move up, you ain't got to move down. Just just give us one of those, we do nothing right here for another 10 sec, 15 seconds, just do nothing. I, I'm cool, you cool, we cool, just stay right here, you know. Seven seconds, count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Say it with me. Easy money. All right, so we are seeing this Audi in here. From the top, this is a push down first century. Push down, coming right back to the EMA. Maybe we get a second entry long. Audi is still strong. Yen is still weak, so is the Swiss still weak, so. You want to go Audi strength here, although it appears. Now let's see if the yen is getting stronger other places. Against the dollar, that's that's about to make a second entry long too. Against the pound, looking kind of strong against the pound. Oh, mixed reviews here. All right, it closed hard. But yeah, we're looking for the push down first entry, push down second entry. Now this looks real strong, but if this candle was to like turn into some type of hammer up, we at 90%, three minutes, make sure everything is situated. Cause I can see this kind of being a trend up, trend break retest. Well, we've had a huge leg up already. I kind of look like this could start ranging a little bit here. But a, a, a lot of rejection up. Especially if it put especially if it hammered up and closed above this EMA. Oh, go time. Go time. Second entry long. We had targets up here and here. Yeah, I would, I would go on that all day. I'm gonna get my finger on the trigger because it's looking real. It's looking curious. It's looking curious. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Push down first entry, push down second entry long. Coming to test here and here. That's the call. Come on, Audi strength. Strength meter, very strong for the Audi, very weak for the yen. Let's see if we can get it strong for a few minutes here. So we're in a little bit of trouble here, but oh, there we go, there we go. Come on, push through. We, we need this to get through that EMA. We don't want it to bounce at the EMA right here. If we can push through the EMA, there's a good chance we stay on the other side of it. There we go, all right. This, this, I'll tell you what, this is looking like a second entry long right here. If we can close above, ooh. We got a fight here, folks. Push through, we need, we need to stay above that EMA. We need to hold up there. Oh man, this is, it's fighting. I mean, it's trying, it's trying. Ooh, it's trying, push through, push through, push through. There you go, push through, push through, push through, push through. Push through, it is in a fight, folks. We are in a fight, 10 seconds. There we go, there we go. Count it down, five, four, three, two, one. Say it with me. Easy money. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So in this video, we are going to play a new game called Can You Name That Trade? <laughs> All right. So no, nah, not a new game, but hey, 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 everybody. How's it going? Welcome to the channel. So if you're new to this channel, we're going to, you know, give you some great value about trading the markets today. All right. And 
My thought for today is, can you name that trade? All right, so what I mean by that is that trades that have a name, in my experience, tend to be um, high probability trades. You know, they, they tend to be trades that you can take over and over and over again. They tend to be trades that you can practice, all right? And anything that you can practice, you can get better at, right? Anything, let me say that again, anything in this world that you can practice at, you can get better at. And this is exactly why people who tune into my channel, grab my course and my community, this is why they get better because I give people something they can practice. What I mean by that is that I show trade setups that happen over and over again that you can practice on your own in the demo account to prove them out, right? So like, for instance, we have a second entries. It could be a second entry long, it could be a second entry short, right? We have what I call, not what I call, but we have higher lows, lower highs. It could be going up, it could be going down, right? We have rally base rally, that's a long trade. We have drop base drop. That's a short trade. Then we just have range fades, okay? So what I teach on this channel, I teach you how to be able to trade in any market condition. But when you look at what we're doing, we're taking the same setups over and over and over again. And I have just found that if you can put a name on that trade, <laughs> it changes everything. I mean, I, I will never forget the first time I saw a second entry long. I just, I'll never forget it. Cause when I saw it, I said, wow, my mentor showed it. Well, actually that ain't who I learned it from. I saw it from somebody else first who learned it from him. But anyway, I saw it and I just thought like, man, it happened just like they said, you know, it came right back to the EMA. I saw the, the high, the, it made a high push down, lower high push down. That's the second entry. And when I first, when I took that first second entry and it worked, changed every changed my whole trading career because instead of just relying on some indicators or some numbers or just some squiggly lines or something i had something that was more mechanical right i had something that i could really say all right i saw it i saw it coming i was waiting everything lined up the signal candle was there i took it and then it did what they said it was gonna do it won right and so that changes the game that changes the game so if you've been struggling in trading I t i'm telling you one of the keys is to find a strategy right where the trade has a name and it doesn't have to be you know price action although price action is king i mean you know like i just read a forest book last month where they had a few different setups they had and they had a name <laughs> for each shadow one was called the big shadow right that was it, that was a trade setup the setup had a name, all right? So I could go out and do nothing but practice taking big shadows if I wanted to. That really helps, okay? Because here's the deal. I've said this plenty of times before, I'll say it again. You only need one setup. You only need one set. You only need to master one setup to actually make money in trading. And sometimes it's better if you only have one setup. Now, if you're scalping and doing different things like that, you need to be able to have a few in your bag, right? The more in your bag, that's cool because then you can trade in any market condition. Like all those trades I named a minute ago helps you trade in any market condition. But with patience and one setup, you just trade in the market condition that's going to be conducive for that trade. <laughs> that's, that's just it. You just have to have more. If you only got one setup, you have to have more patience. But hey, you still making money. You still, and you may be making more money than somebody who's taking a whole bunch of setups. All right. I mean, the, the, if you can be in the market, you want to be in the market the shortest of period of time. The market is a dangerous place. You don't want to just be jumping in and out the market all day, every day. No, you want to take the best high probability trades you can find, get your profit and get out. Okay. So I'm telling you, you want to take a trade with a name. So this guy had me cracking up yet yesterday. Somebody trying to argue with your boy in the in the comments, right? Again, every now and again, somebody comes along and they're just dead set on, you know, proving that I'm not legit for some reason, right? So this guy texts me and he's like, hey, man, you know, I see you marking up these charts, you know, uh, it's easy to call out a setup after the fact, 
you know, but in real real time, you know, you wouldn't be able to do it. You know, why you don't ever trade live? And I'm just like, I don't have time for this. Here we go again. You know, people who don't know how to learn how to trade, right? I'm showing these markups after the fact because that's how you learn how to trade. How, how else are you going to learn how to see a second entry? <laughs> if you don't go back and look at the historical data, go through the price chart and look for second entries. How you going? How else you going to learn second entries? I don't. I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Every time somebody says that to me about me marking up old historical charts, like you guys have never heard of back testing. I mean, are you that new to trading that you've never heard of back testing? <laughs> I mean, but that 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 gets my goat a little bit. Every every time it's so weird to me. But this guy took it to another level. So I'm like, listen, man, I ain't got time for this. I show live recorded trades every intro. Every intro, I show a second entry, a higher low, a rally base rally, whatever it was. And then later, I, sh I may not even show that same exact one in the work study lesson, but I showed the live trade every video. So I say that, then this guy says, yeah, you're, so you're showing the same live trades. <laughs> I'm saying, what? I said, I do not have time for this, man. Are you serious? Are you, are you seriously telling me that I'm out here on YouTube showing the exact same trade at the beginning of every video and I'm and I'm expecting to fool somebody. Is that <laughs> is that what you're telling me? I was like, dude, that's not even creative. I'm like I'm like if I was trying to trick people, I would be a little bit more creative than showing the exact same trade <laughs> over and over again. That does that doesn't even make that's that don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? This person it, that don't even make sense. Then this guy <laughs> So I say that to him, right? Then he's like, no, you had the same outfit on, you know what I'm saying? So it's gotta be fake. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what does my outfit have to do with the trade? You know what I'm saying? With the setup. <clears throat> so this is somebody who's so focused on being a hater, who's so focused on trying to prove that I'm not legit. He's missing the whole picture. Right. And the crazy part about it is he had he I would say he had to have had to watch several videos because he knew I had the same outfit on because I, I roll out of bed at five in the morning to start trading. And I got a uni out there on. I explained this in the last video. Right. So me having the same outfit on is by design. Right. But if he was if he was paying half attention, just half of attention, he would notice. Uh, this trade was already in uh, the trade before that was euro usd the trade before that was swiss yen the trade before that was pound cad the trade before that was, i mean if he just was paying any half of attention he would notice that the pairs are different so obviously <laughs> the trades are different but then i got to thinking i was like but wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute maybe maybe since it's the same setups over and over and over again He's mistaking it for being the same exact trade. Now, that's a stretch. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because I don't understand what this dude is looking at. <laughs> I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I'm like, okay, maybe he's thinking, maybe he's seeing the same setup and in his mind, he's thinking it's the same trade. Now, he's just a hater. All right. Forget giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's just a hater. But here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Cause this is what's sad about it. His mind is so focused on negativity, right? His mind is so focused on, um, you know, Hey man, there's a lot of people out here who trying to teach trade and who don't know what they're doing. So I get that too, but his, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you, you bargain up the wrong tree. All right. But his mind is so focused on proving me wrong. He's missing the whole man. He's missing the boat. He's missing valuable information that could truly change his trading journey, right? Because for that one guy right there, I got like 20 who's writing me every day saying things like, JD, man, I appreciate you. I'm seeing second issues for the first time. I'm winning for the first time. Hey, JD, I appreciate you. I've taken your strategy and I just got funded with top next trader for Forex. Hey, JD, I took your strategy. I just got funded in the futures would take profit trader. Hey JD, I appreciate you, man. I'm able to feed my family now, man, from your YouTube videos, right? So for every one guy who's trying to discredit me, I got about 20, <clears throat> excuse me, <sighs> choke him up. I got about 20 who's saying thank you, right? And that's, man, that's what I'm here for. That's, that's the thing. But here's the thing. 
this this one guy is missing the boat, right? Not paying attention, not not paying attention to the not paying attention to the videos, not paying attention to the setups, not paying attention to the work study lesson that he thinks is 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 pointless because it's a historical chart. Why these other people were learning. They were learning how to spot a second entry. They were learning how to spot a higher low. They were learning how to spot a rally base rally. They were learning how to spot a drop base drop. They were learning how to spot a range fade. They was learning how to box up a range, right? And now they're winning. So many, many, many people who watch this channel are winning for the first time. And, 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 and it's because I've been able to explain how to spot a second entry. I've given them a setup. I've given them the, a trade that has a name, all right? And I didn't, I didn't invent second entries. Here's the, this is the, I didn't invent second entries. I learned second entries from my mentor, right? Who, who taught it to me. My mentor told me somebody taught him about second entries, right? So the, I didn't invent this setup. I didn't invent the name on this setup. It's been passed down from trader to trader to trader because these are the setups that happen in the market naturally every day and once you have them once you can practice them once you can see them now you can change your trading journey right so hey listen Tr take trades that have a name okay find a and it, again you only need one i mean you can make a downright living off second entries you can make you can make a living off set entries. My wife made a living off of uh, higher lows. I call it the wifey trade, right? You can make a living. You can make a living just taking range fades. You can make a living off of one setup. All I want to get across to you in this video is just to make sure whatever trade you take has a name. All right. So, no work study lesson today. You know, I don't want to be accused of <laughs> points to file after the fact. <laughs> no, that's not what we're going to do a work study lesson. But, but yeah, no work study lesson. But we are going to go to my last few days, my last few trading days. And I'm going to give you an example of the importance of taking a trade with a name. All right. So name that trade. Let's go over and look at something real quick. Okay, gang, for this example, I just want to show you my last three days of trading. All right. So. This all the end you saw it today in the uh, in the open. Um, this was the last trade. This was the second entry long. The Audi was strong in the strength currency meter. The yen was weak. We had already had a big run up. Came back. So you know, as far as the market cycle, we was in line with the market cycle. The strength currency meter was in line. So we had a lot of checks. We had already seen the audio was strong all day. We had a lot of checks. And then the final line is, I mean, it's not final line, but the final straw is we got a second entry long with, might I add, a signal candle that showed rejection. It was a big push down, turned into a hammer up. <laughs> second entry long, right? I could put a, I put a name on that trade. Same thing with the Audi Swiss. It was a higher low right coming back towards the ema um i love high low trades coming back towards the ema again we knew the audit was strong the swiss was weak on the strength currency meter again we lined some stuff up but the trade had a name it was a higher low um this was monday back here on this friday your shiro cat was a second entry beautiful trade it was a home run this pound cat, another second entry, home run, beautiful trade. This was a, a nice, nice, easy, comfortable trading day. All right. Now, this Audi dollar right here, this trade was a higher low with a beautiful signal candle. I was, it was a, it was a pretty, well, not beautiful, but it was a good signal candle. But the, the first candle, I, it was a three minute trade. The first candle took off like a rocket. I'm thinking home run. <laughs> I'm thinking home run. Then the second candle kind of came back about halfway, halfway, and I got a little nervous. And lo and behold, that third candle pushed down strong. I lost, right? But I just want to point out this was a perfect setup. It had a name, it was a higher low. This Euro USD was a mistake. 
okay. I was trying to switch over to EuroCAD. I was trading for my phone. I was on vacation. I thought it switched over. It did. And I ended up just taking a breakout candle. No name on the trade. Terrible trade. Wish I could have it back. This Euro dollar here was a beautiful higher low off the EMA. Beautiful trade home run. This one was a higher low under the EMA. So when I won this one, it kind of set this one up. So these were two good trades. This Audi dollar, no, it was a it was a strong push candle up. That's all I can call it. No name trade. All right. What I so what I'm trying to show you is this. I wish I could have this one back. This Audi dollar, no name trade, should have never taken it. And this Euro dollar mistake trade, no name trade, should have never taken it. If I get these two back, right? Now, now I take five trades a day. So look. It was I was down one. Um there's a wash, I'm up one. Then I had this terrible no name trade. Now it's a wash, right? Now the day comes down to one trade, right? I got one trade to try to go positive on the day. I take the perfect setup. I take the perfect setup on this Audi dollar. It doesn't win. That happens, right? No setup is a hundred percent. But this is my point. If I had if I hadn't have taken a no name trade here, if I hadn't have taken a no name trade here, it may not have come down. <laughs> it may not have come down to this trade, right? Let's just say I took a good setup here and won, and then I win this one, I'm done for the day, right? But I nope, I took a no name trade here, and that made me that put me into a fight for the day. Now I came back strong, but then I took another no name trade here, right? And then the day hinged on one setup. <clears throat> and sometimes it just don't go your way, right? Like I say, I was up. Man, that first candle, I thought this was a home run trade. Um, but it didn't work out that way. So if I don't take these two no-name no name trades, I probably have a positive day again. But now, let me show you something. If you're paying attention, though, this trade had a name. 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 This trade had a name, this trade had a name, this trade had a name. So out of every trade I took that had a name, <laughs> I went six out of seven. That's my point. That's my point. This is why I teach second entries. This is why I teach higher lows, right? If you can focus on every trade you take having a name, right? This is possible. Six, one, two, three, four, five six seven these seven trades all had a name and you notice i only lost one all right <laughs> I, I i went six out of seven on trades that had a price action trading name attached to them and also i checked a lot of boxes i make sure that the strength currency meter is in my favor i make sure that most of these are probably off the ema or around the ema most of these most of these probably had a good signal candle. Okay. So I'm not just saying just because you know a name with a trade, you're gonna win. That's well, you still gotta put all of you still gotta you still gotta trade, right? You still gotta know how to trade, you still gotta put everything together. But my advantage is that I take trades that have names. They're already known to be pro high probability trades, right? Like I said, I didn't create these trades. These trades are already known to have high probability. If you just do a Google search on second entries. Higher lows, second legs, retracement legs. I mean, they're, they're, they're called different things out there, but I ain't the only person who knows about second entries. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> they work. Okay. I'm just very good at number one, seeing them, seeing them, seeing them, seeing them, seeing them. And I'm also pretty good at teaching others how to see them. That's, that's all I'm saying. But take a trade with a name and going six out of seven with trades that have a name is very possible. I mean, I'm so upset that I, this Euro dollar and this Audi dollar, both of them, no name trades, no name trades. So this losing day here didn't have to be. It just didn't have to be. Matter of fact, if I don't take this one, just think, look at this. If I don't take this no name trade, right? And I just take this one or this one, boom. That's boom. That's two, four, six, eight, ten, bam, hey. I would be on a streak of 1200. I'd be up 1200 on my last six trades, right? Or two for, yeah. So all I got to do is not pull the trigger on this one and boom, 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 boom. 
You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, and I'm done. And all, all six of these have a name. So learn price action trading, find one setup, and take it over and over and over again, and make sure before you enter, you can name that trade. All right, so I'm gonna sign off with that. This is a good time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you. And so I'm gonna sign off. So my name is JD, and until next time, I wish you increase on the sudden. There is more where that came from. Check this video out right here.